Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Flow YouTube channel. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And if not, I hope you're manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it is surely coming to you guys. Alright, so jumping right into it, you guys. Um, I know I'm starting off with high energy. I try to always have good energy when I start these videos, but you know, today is gonna be just one of those videos where we just take a time to, you know, remember and look back on, you know, a day that, you know, happened in America that was very, you know, tragic for us and traumatizing for a lot of us Americans and still to this day, even 21 years later, uh, still are feeling the effects from, you know, the tragedy, you know, those who don't know what I'm talking about by now, I'm talking about 9-11 or September 11, um, or Remembrance Day, if you will, for some people who like to call it that. Um, today is September 11, 2022. At uh, the day that, you know, or 21 years ago today, uh, the World Trade Center was under attack where two planes, you know, or two planes were hijacked and um, uh, uh, flown into the Twin Towers and, you know, causing, you know, thousands of people to lose their lives that day. And, you know, in just a day, you know, of, of, of <laughs> sadness, I'm trying to make sure I find the right words to say. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in the fifth grade, you know, in Houston, uh, in third ward, going to a school called Dotson Elementary, and um, one of the teachers come running into my school, running into my classroom. We were doing math, and um, she comes running into the school, into the classroom. Uh, America's under attack. America's under attack. And we thought, you know, when we initially heard it. Uh, we thought, you know, like the school was under attack and so they made us like get under the tables or something they had us do. But then the principal came on the uh, announcer and, and stated that, you know, hey, it wasn't us under attack. It was happening in New York and that America, you know, had been attacked. And so they let out school early that day. Um, we all went home, you know, by the time I got home, my mom was there, she was watching the news, um, I was asking her what happened, you know, like, she couldn't explain it herself, she was still trying to find out, um, but as time going on, you know, we found out, you know, it wasn't an accident, you know, this was planned terrorist attack, um, and, and from what I remember back in that time, uh, afterwards, you know, that's when a lot of talk of the war started in Afghanistan, and, uh, it was a lot of patriotism, you know, going on in that time, you know, where people, you know, were, were for America. I'd never seen so many people, you know, black and white, of all color, come together and stick together than in that time. Um, not only just the World Trade Center was attacked that day, to also remember um, there was attack on the Capitol uh, uh, as well in Washington. Um, so it wasn't just, it just didn't happen in New York, it's just where it initially happened, but there was actually an attack on the Capitol in, in D.C. as well. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, to give you guys a little bit more depth of it, I want to show y'all a video uh, that captures that moment in time and actually when it actually happened in real time, it was actually captured uh, the second plane flying into uh, one of the Twin Towers and having it collapse. And so, I want to show you guys that as well as I've actually been to the World Trade Center uh, memorial site twice. I went once the first time in 2017 uh, when I was working in Hunter, New York as a host driver. Um, I actually got to go to New York City that day and visit and I went to the uh, World Trade Center memorial site and I actually took videos and pictures and I'll share that with you as well. Second time I went was with my nephew when we took his first trip to New York in 2020, um, it was very different. We didn't get to take a lot of pictures. They had it barricaded. Um, a lot different from you know 2017 because the pandemic was going on. And so um, I want to share with you guys that, um, and then we'll come back on. We'll talk a little bit more, as well as doing a moment of silence for those who lost their lives during 9/11 and is no longer here with us. And so let's take this time. Uh, check the video out, give, you know, a moment of silence for those who are known on here. And then I'll come back on and discuss more about 9-11 as well as more uh, what's going on in different world, yeah? So here it is, check it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is much that is not known. 
about what has happened. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't know anything more than that. The word of the day is steady. Until and unless we know the facts, it's very difficult to draw many conclusions. So you have no idea right, right oh, now? Oh, there's another one. Another plane just hit. Right? Oh, my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. It would appear that there has been another major explosion, this one in the nation's capital. There is smoke in the air over the Pentagon. Oh my God. Uh, have you seen any indication that would tend to confirm these uh, reports which have been growing in intensity that a section of the World Trade Center uh, has collapsed onto the street below. Do you see any confirmation of that in that any direction? True, Dan. That's what we were all running from. We heard the building coming down, and that's what we were running from. What happened? What? what the happened? Uh, building collapsed. Part of the building collapsed. So my next stop out here is we're at the landmark, the World Trade Center. Well, on September 11th, you know, the U.S. took a hit. Oh, look at that rainbow. It's pretty. But, um, we're here. New World. God, dog. Oh, all the way up. <laughs> And some of the victims' names are here. May they rest in peace. And everybody's just sat uh, here, chilling like a villain. 9/11, never forget. Always be. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, or well, I don't want to say enjoyed because there was nothing joyous about watching that, but 
Um, I hope for those who were not around during that time or were too young to remember, you know, 9-11 and when it happened, uh, the video gives you, you know, a glimpse of what it was like in that time. I remember watching those clips and seeing the people run from the dust and I'm thinking, uh, are we next? Who are they going to, what, what city or state were they going to attack next? And so I remember it being a very stressful and, and anxious time for us all. Uh, Aaliyah had just passed away as well, you know, two weeks prior. So, you know, emotionally, I, I was, you know, stunned and jarred because, you know, we lost one of the, you know, uh, influential person in my life at that time. And so it was, I do remember it just being a very sad, grieving time, a very confusing time as to what was going on. You know, everybody was going to roar. I remember. A uh, classmate of mine, her dad was getting shipped out to Afghanistan at the time, and she was, you know, just afraid. She didn't know, you know, we didn't know. And, you know, 21 years later, you know, looking back on it, we've we've come so far, but yet still have so far to go even in this situation. And every September 11th, as you guys can see, you know, we dress this up, we remember this day and this time and where we were, and I hope and prayer pray that, you know, every day, you know, or every time this situation, you know, comes back up or, you know, this day comes back up, it just reminds us to cherish our loved ones and cherish the time that we have because you never know. And, you know, the world that we live in today, you know, not much has changed in the sense, you know, people doing crazy things and innocent people having to pay the price for that. And so... Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with all the family members and those who were affected by 9-11. Uh, I personally didn't know anybody that was affected by it or had anybody in my family affected by it. But for those out there who has, my heart goes out to you guys and you guys are all in my prayers. Um, I want to move on and close out this segment just stating that and, and for those who may need um, these words of encouragement who, you know, has a hard time Every time, you know, 9-11 comes around, just know that you are not alone, it is okay, and that you will get through these trying times. And so, with that being said, you guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video and share it with others. And, you know, help, help me spread the word as well. Um, and so, thank you guys so much, you know, for tuning in and listening in this segment. Um, you know, we always try to, you know, give you guys information to where it, you know, educates, inspires, and entertain you guys. If it doesn't do, you know, all three, at least one of the three. And so uh, here it is with this part, with, with this plea log um, for my 9-11. Okay? And so moving on, you guys, with that being said, um, the next plea log we have dropping, uh, I just, uh, I'm doing them back to back, you guys. Uh, like I said, it's all about dropping that content. So when I do take off, you know, you guys will have something to, to view and you know, see what I'm all about. And so moving on with the next content I'm going to be posting, um, as well as um, introducing the new segment of my, my vlog where I'm posting, uh, more so uh, in, in terms of the motivational side of me. Like I said, I'm more than just one option. I'm a, a woman with many hats and motivational speaking is you know one of my main gems that I do so what I will start posting is motivational vlogs I'll start you know offering you know more words of encouragement and inspiration as well as in these vlogs there will be inspirational videos and so be on the lookout my next vlog is going to be a motivational vlog and so uh, just incorporate those trying to post them weekly and so you guys can have, you know, some motivational vlogs to look at when you guys come and check out on my channel, yeah? Uh, and so, uh, also you guys, don't forget to go to my website and get my book, What If, here it is, A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, my book, What If, A Controversial Paradigm Shift, is a book that is written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversation about injustice and systemic racism in America. And this is intended for a mature audience, you guys. So again... Um, if you can't take the heat, then do not bother coming to this kitchen. But if so, head on over to dippingsworld.net and get your own copy of my book available now. As well as, don't forget you guys, you can go to my website and check out uh, other things that have gone on, other events that I'm attending, including you know book fairs or speaking engagements, as well as if those who want me to be involved in any of their speaking events or engagements 
or grassroots conversations, definitely go to my website and book me. I'm free of charge as of now, but pretty soon or eventually, um, I'll be, you know, charging for my services and uh, I'll be manifesting, planning and preparing for me to be, you know, one of the best, if not the number one public speaker in the world. And so, uh, from my mouth to God's ear, it shall pass. Um, so make sure you guys uh, get, get on the boat before it sails and go to my website, differenceworld.net and get your copy and check me out. As well as check out the other, my, so, my other social media handles, including, you know, Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook. Uh, you already know about my YouTube channel, but don't forget, hit that subscribe button and share. I do appreciate it, you guys. Uh, as well as, let's do a mental health check real quick, you guys. Making sure, including, especially it being 9-11, it's a, it's a day for some people, it's just a depressed day for them. And they, you know, feel every, you know, that emotion that comes back around, you know, the day they may have lost somebody or they may have been involved in, you know, not they were actually there, there are actual survivors who, who was in 9-11 that was running from all the dust or actually in the building. And so I know with them every year 9-11 comes around it's a very hard time for them and so making sure for those who who have mental anguish dealing with 9-11 keeping it in check and doing whatever it is that you have to do to make sure you don't go off the deep end if you know anybody or you yourself may need these resources please share with them for those who may need the crisis hotline the number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can text 741741 or 988 or you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us for those who are outside of the U.S. you can go to incounseling.com that again is spelled E-N-C-O-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com again you guys please remember that it's okay to not be okay but do not sit there and not be okay go get help whatever that may be to you whatever may work for you find what works for you and stick with it, okay? Because remember, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Different twirl. Come and learn, everybody. Have a good one. Peace. <coughs>